go before the Lord and bring him our worship. We just want to tell the Lord thank you for all that he has done this thank week. You, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. How he has kept us safe and uh, watched over us. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you thank for you. another day. We thank you for watching over us and uh, keeping us in your presence. And Lord, never losing sight of who we are, even in our flaws, even in our, our sin. You have loved us and cared for us and tried to love yes, us back Lord. into thank a you, loving Jesus. relationship with you. We ask you now to come in at this time of our worship service and take a seat so that we might worship you in spirit and in truth. We pray that you loose anything that is not like you, that you would remove anything that keeps us from worshiping yes, you with Lord. our thank whole heart. Lord, any, any family issues, any financial issues that we just bring forth our worship to you today. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Uh-uh. Wait. Stop. Pause. Here we go. We're going to read it again because y'all sure sounded like y'all was reading, not like y'all understood that we're supposed to be making a joyful noise unto the Lord. All right? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and now we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. Together. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Amen.
of Amen. God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, mm. yet not distressed. Mm -hmm. We are perplexed, but mm -hmm. not in despair. Yeah. Persecuted, but not, not forsaken. forsaken. Cast down, but, but not, not destroyed. destroyed. Amen. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in, in our body. body. Mm. And then skipping to 14. Knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day for our light affliction which is but for a moment. Y'all yeah. need to hear that. Yes, yes. Work it for us a far more, a more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Amen. For we look not at the things which are seen, but, but at, at the, the things, things which, which are, are not seen. seen. Amen. For the things which are seen are temporal, yes. but the things which yes, are not yes. seen are what? Eternal. Amen. Amen. This Amen. Is the Amen. Lord in your hearing. Amen. Amen. Christ, who has put on, put their trust in Him, uh, need to know that they are winners. Amen. Uh, winning is not always apparent for us in this life, but we are winners if we believe in Jesus Christ and walk according to His Word. Amen. We have a president who promised that everyone would be a winner. Okay. That we would be tired of winning, but He can't keep His promise like God can. When I was growing up, I loved playing sports. It was, it was my, the one place that I found that was fun, exciting, and I loved winning. Amen. <laughs> loved playing basketball, Amen. football, bas baseball. I even played street hockey. And in the neighborhoods we lived in, street hockey was with an with a old straw broom yeah. and some rolled up. Uh, aluminum foil into a ball yes, that we would yes. use as a puck. Amen. So we, we, we was doing it season <coughs> in, season out. It didn't matter. But you named the sport and I was probably trying to play it. Amen. I love winning and I still love winning. But I didn't want to win by cheating. Uh, so many people are willing to take shortcuts to get something whether they have worked for it or not. But the Bible conveys to us that if we're willing to stay the course with Jesus Christ, we come out winners. Yeah. Okay. The Bible shows us that if we who put our full trust in Christ Jesus will never be disappointed and we will always win. Amen. I, I don't know about you, but like I said, I enjoy yeah, and love yeah. winning. Amen. If you watch me play bid whist uh, at the picnic, then you know I like to have some fun, but I also enjoy winning. <laughs> so when I'm jokingly talking trash, I'm talking trash because I'm having fun. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to play dominoes. I know how to get that down just like that. Amen. Amen. I like winning. Amen. And so the reason that one of the reasons I wanted to be on Jesus Christ's team is because Amen. I know Amen. I win yeah. with Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. And it's important for believers today in Jesus Christ to know that if we are following the path Christ, Christ Amen. laid out for us, yes, we are already winners. winners. Yeah, yeah. No matter Amen. what you've been through. Thank you, Lord. Amen. No matter Thank what you've been through, God offers everyone the opportunity yes, to be a winner Hallelujah. with him. And that's what I want to preach on today. Going through winning. Amen. Going through winning. Okay. The first point that this passage of scripture we're looking at uh, tells me is that Paul explains what God is trying to do for us, the power for us. God, Paul explains God's power for us. Look at verse 6. He says, For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness mm -hmm. has shined in our hearts Amen. to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God mm -hmm. in the face so of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power 
may be of God and not of us. Amen, amen. Here's what this passage shows me. Um, all of us probably, if we stopped and thought about it, know that we have gone through storms and rain. We've gone yeah. through trials and tribulations. We've gone through aches and pains. We, we have had situations in our life that have caused us almost to want to give up or to quit. Yes, say uh, it, To just say have, throw in the towel, to yes. quit. Um, but if you've ever been a person who played any sports at all, you know even when you're down 30 points and it's in the fourth quarter, you don't stop playing. Right, amen, you, you amen. You don't just quit and just throw in the towel and say, we'll stop right here because we're down. You play to the end. You keep going. You, you Because uh, I was just watching last night, the Bulls were playing Atlanta, but they had played... Uh, Atlanta had played a team last the, the night before and came back from 26 points down in the fourth quarter, and and because they had, because they kept playing, yeah, I they, kept, they didn't give up, they didn't quit, they didn't stop, even though it looked like the odds were against them being able to win. Yeah, and and sometimes we go through stuff in our lives. We have tragedies. We have family members that pass away. We have family members or, or friends or, or loved ones who disappoint us, who hurt us, or go through some stuff, and, and it looks like it just wants to stop you right there. You Come on, Everything man. in your life, you just want to stop and go, I, I quit, I'm through, I don't want to do this anymore, I want off with life, I'm not interested in going any further. But Paul tells us that there's something that being with Jesus Christ does to the believer, and that is that he shines his light from Christ into our heart so that we can see that we are winners. That it doesn't matter that I'm going through a trial or tribulation. It doesn't matter that some life or death has come into, into my life or something is wrong or I'm, not, I'm going through trials and tribulations. There's something about the life of a believer who walks with Jesus Christ that we can go beyond what we see and amen, keep moving amen. because we believe that the unseen power of the Holy Spirit who is yes, in us yes, moves us you, to a different place. Amen, and, amen, and amen. Even though it looks like right here, right now, in this temporal situation, you're looking at me right now, I'm telling you that what you may see is not what it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, amen, oh, right. amen. And that's important to know. Because what the enemy does is forces us or seeks to force us to focus on the right now and not what God has for you. Amen. 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 You know, so we stop. Death happens and we stop. Uh, lose a job and we stop. Uh, accidents happen and we stop. We, you know, things go on in our life and we stop. And cancer comes into our life and we feel like yeah. it's a death sentence when God says, no, it's not over. Yeah. I Amen. got something else for you Amen. to do. Amen. And, and in the enemy that we have, our enemy is Satan. He yeah. seeks to have you stop right here, right now, and focus on what is not well, what is not yeah. right, what Amen. is not going yeah. good. While God is trying to say it, but if you walk with me, I will open your heart to see the light of glory, the light of God's glory, the light of hope, the light of I can make it through this situation because God has brought me through it before. Amen, amen. That's what happens when you're going through, when you're in a storm. And that's why Paul explains God's power for us. That's what he's telling us. He said, God commanded the light to shine in our yeah. hearts. Yes, he did. You know, to shine in darkness. Out, out of darkness to basically illuminate or open up so that you can see the path that God has. Amen. Has you. Thank you, Lord. But if you stop and Thank you just you, look Lord. down at the ground, you will never know where you're going. Yeah. You'll never see where God wants you to be. And so it's important to understand that. His word tells us that there is something inside a true believer in Jesus Christ that causes us to keep going even when we it seems that we should be throwing in the towel. Yeah, and yeah amen. Believers become winners because okay. believers know that this is not the final yeah. situation. Amen, amen. I might be going through, you know, a situation at home, or I might be going through a situation on my job, or or a health situation. But if I just keep persevering, yeah. if I just keep Press believing God, if I keep knowing that God has something better for me, yeah. that then there's going to be something that comes out of it. 
But if my attitude is that of negativity, uh -huh. or I can't make it, or I don't see how I'm going to do this, or I just need to quit right now. If my attitude is that, then you are not showing or reflecting yeah. the fact that Christ Amen. is in your Amen. heart. Because God says, no, I can do all things through yes. Christ who yes. strengthen me. Say it, Pastor. There's so many things that we can do on this journey. Yeah. This Christian journey is a serious journey. It yeah. is a place of commitment. It, yeah. and, and we have so many people who are lax or slack in their commitment to Christ. And then when they're going through situations and yeah, trials and yeah. tribulations, they don't believe or don't feel like they can make it, and they just want to throw in the towel and quit. Yes, yes. Yesterday, 11 yes. Jews were murdered mm -hmm. in a place yes. called Squirrel Hill um, in, in Pennsylvania, yes. in Pits, a suburb of yes. Pittsburgh. Yes. It for them, um, you know, because people of faith were in, they were yeah. worshiping. And, 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 mm -hmm. and uh, my understanding is it was a, a birthing ceremony where they named their baby. They give them a Jewish name. And somebody who was evil walked into a place where light was trying to shine yeah. and tried to bring darkness. But the community got together last night. Yeah. And, and yeah. in that community, they began to just uh, come together and, and to support each other. Yeah. And, and I, I want you to understand, the Bible is, is clear. The gates of hell shall not prevail against God's church. Yes, amen, amen. You can, you, you, you can bring some stuff in. You can do some things in the church. You can get away with stuff. You can get away with sinning for a while. But at some point, all of that stuff will catch up. Yes, amen. And amen. And not bring sin amen. before God and, and nothing happens. That's right. Eventually, there will be a judgment. Yes, amen. And so for the man who did this yesterday, there will be a judgment. Yes, it will. He'll go through what, what we do here on earth. But there is another opportunity, another time that he will be judged. And God will have to judge him according to his yeah. works and according to what he has done. Amen. These people were worshiping and evil came in and sought to bring darkness into their lives. But the Bible says, for God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, mm -hmm. the, the heart and the love of the people in that community began to show last night yeah. on the same day and yeah. the same day in which those 11 people were murdered. And so that tells us that God is able to do it. Amen, and we, amen. If we trust him, he can bring light into our lives where it feels like there's no hope. And it's in this time, instead of allowing darkness and fear to win, it's a time for us to bring the light of God amen. to us. Amen, amen. Amen. So the first thing I wanted you to see is Paul explains God's power to us. And the second thing I want you to see out of this is that winners have a special perspective. Okay. I, I've learned this over the years when, you know, as, as I've done things, accomplished things, and seen people who are winners, they, they have a special perspective about winning. Yeah. If you look at Michael Jordan over the years uh, when he played, one of the things that you heard about Michael Jordan was that he practiced hard. He practiced yeah. as hard yeah. in, in practice as he did in the games. He didn't just kind of go through the motions and practice. He worked really hard. As a matter of fact, he used to drive his teammates crazy because he was pushing them to play hard. Yeah. He was pushing them to win because he knew that in order for you to win, you got to work hard. You got to practice Amen. hard. Yeah. You got to know. And so let me take you to learning something about the Word of God. If we are not learning the yeah, Word of God, if we're not studying Say, the Word of God, yeah. then we are subject to when situations, trials, yep. and tribulations Amen. come, let's call it game time. When game time comes, when the situation comes and there's a game, now you not what's the game? The game is that now all of a sudden there's right. a trial against you. There's uh -huh. something that's coming against you, and you got to get out on the court and play. Come on, you man. ain't ready because you have not studied. Yeah, you. Amen. You come have on, not yeah, ended. yeah. Come on, Jesus Christ with you. You have Amen. not moved in such a way that God needs you to move. And so now you kind of lost when you go through stuff. Come on, when you, man. When Come on. Yeah, yeah. Up, you know, got lost yeah. because I don't know yeah. which direction. How do I? How am I supposed to dribble? Which way am I supposed to shoot? Come Who on, is my man. teammate? What am I supposed yeah. to do? Yeah, amen, amen. The coach, amen. Had, some, the coach had some yeah, instructions yeah. for me. But I didn't listen to the coach because I didn't feel like listening to him. I was tired. I didn't want to study. I was tired. I didn't feel like coming to church. Come I was on, tired. Come on, so say I didn't it, want to say do anything it. else. I, or, you know, or my friends and my family called me to do X, Y, and Z, so therefore I went and did this 
But winners have a certain perspective, a special yeah. perspective. Yeah. And what they know is you have to practice yeah. as Amen. hard as you Amen. can. For when game time comes, then you know exactly what you are supposed to do and Amen. need to do Amen. in order to be able to, to, to come to fruition. Say what do you mean by that? Look at verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at things which are not seen. Mm -hmm. For the things which are seen are temporal, or but the things which are not seen are eternal. This thing, this the, the, the thing for the things which are not seen are temporal means that they're temporary. Okay. There's stuff that we go through in our lives that is temporary. Yeah, there are yeah. That we go through in our lives. You think in the moment that that's the worst yeah. thing, the Amen. only thing that is going to last forever. And then you find out, like a week later or two weeks later, you almost forgot all about whatever it was. Amen, you know. amen. And yeah, that's real. Because winners have a special perspective. They understand, I might be going through right now. I may not be winning right now. It may look like I'm about to lose the game right now, but but I'm going to keep practicing. I'm gonna amen, keep working. amen. I'm gonna keep getting out yes, of the court. I'm going to keep working hard to get yes. there. So that they, winners have this, this different look. They look at things a little differently. Like we could look and say we got a small church, okay. or you could look and say that the people who are coming to the church are trying to get what the Lord has for them. Amen. So they Amen. Can put it in their in their arsenal of things to work with. You can yes. look at it and say we don't we don't accomplish the things that we want to accomplish. We don't have the place that we want to be, and it is true. But if you can look beyond that, you can see that eventually God has a place to be. Amen. 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 We have to yeah. keep functioning and keep working until we can get yes. going on where we need to be. Amen. That's what winners do. Winners see beyond yeah. what the score yeah. is right Amen. now. Amen. They believe still that they can win. But the second thing that winners do in this, with a special perspective, is they can see un things, unseen things. And you, you're struggling right now, but you feel like that you can't get past it. But if you understand or operate from the, a believer's perspective in Jesus Christ, you, you, you know that God is like doing things that you can't even see. Amen, you know, yeah. Right? You, you know God has promised in his word some things for you that if you're walking with him, yeah. he is promised he will Amen. take care of you. Right. How, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm looking at what our, where our church is today. And if I'm looking at where our church is today and stop right there, then I won't see where the church will be tomorrow. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And if, and if I stop right here, seven years into this church plus, <laughs> months-wise, and look and see that nobody has lost their life. Amen, the amen. Oh, I see, I see the unseen hand of God taking care of everybody who is a part of this ministry right now. But if you only stop right at the point of, well, it's small, or, well, it's not that many, then you miss what God is doing. Oh, yeah, oh, amen, man. amen. Another perspective that winners have uh, who are in Jesus Christ is we don't hold on to temporal things. Come on, man. We don't hold on to stuff that's temporary. Uh, a lot of folk right now look for the, the immediate, look for the, 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 yeah, the, the, yeah. Quick, the quick fix. Quick fix. The, the, you know, the... The guy just that came on to me that I that kind of seemed like he was nice, and I'm going through something in my marriage, or I'm or I'm, I'm single, and I'm just looking for somebody to come along. Come on. That, that we're looking for. Oh, he said he liked me. That's good. Well, that should have worked when you was maybe young, but not now. <laughs> you understand? What come you're on, saying? Man, Somewhere hey. along the way, you ought to be able to grow up and figure out. Yeah, they're gonna tell you what you want to hear. Come on, come but, on. But you need to understand where you are in Jesus Christ. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, right. So we don't hold on to temporary things. We're not just looking for stuff that's just going to come in for a moment. That's why we talked about it earlier today in our Sunday school class that we, we were talking about there are things and times where we, we look for stuff that we can't even afford. You want, a, you want a bigger car when your car that you had to get you around, but you can't afford the note now that you used to have. Come that on, you yeah, have yeah. Because you just went up from a hundred, about $150 but your paycheck didn't go up any. Come on, yeah. come on. can't hear me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you tell the church, I can't tithe because I can't afford to tithe. Come on, say it, I say it. I don't have enough money because I didn't yeah. take time to set aside enough yeah. money to put down a good down payment where my payments would be low. Come on. I'm just going because it looks good. They told me they gave me a good deal, but now the payments are starting to hit. Come on. So you can't see. You're looking at temporal things, temporary stuff. 
and you're not understanding where God is trying to take amen, you. Come on, amen. Say it. And then lastly, what are uh, winners in, in this in this 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 piece right here? Winners who have this special uh, perspective, they we remember that we have an eternal home. Come on, man. And and we have an eternal home. And when your perspective is mm. where I am today. Uh -huh. Is not where God's going to lead. Amen. Me. Amen. 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 Where I am today is not how I'm going to be when eternity comes. Come on now. I got, and so my my view, rather than being temporary, going after the physical pleasures of the moment, and and that are will cause me to sin, or going after the things that are cheap and quick to do, or the things that my flesh is sowing into my flesh that will that will bring me some peace, some joy right now. But later on, will cost my soul to burn yeah, in hell. Yeah, now yeah. I got to be careful about what that is. I got to because I have to have an eternal perspective. And an eternal perspective says, right now I can either sow into my flesh Come on, and do the good stuff that I want to do that I feel is good for me and physically good for me, or I can look and go, nope. You know what? If I wind up doing this because I'm sowing into my flesh and I know that the Word of God tells me that it's wrong. But now, if I have an eternal perspective, amen, I'm going, yeah. I don't want to do this. Right, right. That's going to mess up amen. my eternity. Amen. And, and, and I don't want to spend eternity in hell. I want to yes. spend eternity yes. in hell. Yes. 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 If, if all I'm doing is looking at right, the right now and not the future where God has for me, then I'm going to miss it. Yeah, yes. amen, yes. amen. I'm going to miss it. Something, yes. Something's going to be missing out of how I'm looking at what I do. And so that's what I wanted to make sure we get today. Okay. That God is trying to take us somewhere. God is trying to do something in our lives. And we have to have as winners in Jesus Christ a perspective that understands that. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But, but I want to also share with you one other thing. Trouble comes on every side. Yes, it does. Yes. Trying to get our eyes off God. Yes. Trouble comes on every side. Trying to get our eyes off of God. Yes. Verse 8 says, we are troubled on every side, oh, yes. yet not distressed. Yes, we are yes. But not in despair. Mm -hmm. We are persecuted, but not forsaken. forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. But not destroyed. Yes, yes, Lord. Always yes. bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in, in our, our body. Own life. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Let me let me let me let you see this Thank real quick. Thank you, Lord. Trouble comes on every side. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, yes. Is, is there anybody who has been exempt from trouble yeah. in, this, no. in this hour? No. No. Anybody who has not had some situational things go and you just wanted to quit? Come on. Yes. Yes. You yes. to give up? Yeah. That, 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 that maybe yes. it was pain in your body. Maybe yes. it was a spouse that went wayward. Maybe it was you know just a situational thing that you're going through at your job. Trouble comes on every yeah. side. That's what Paul yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. that you can expect trouble to come. Yeah. And then somehow we have communicated, it seems, to believers that we are exempt from trouble yeah. when we believe nope. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Come on, man. But Savior. Paul tells us we got it coming on every side. Every side. Every time you think that you done got through it, yeah, you yeah, it, through, it comes something you, else. you understand the perspective of eternity, you know that there's going to be other stuff coming while we're here on earth. We, yeah. Believers are not exempted. From going through trouble. Amen. It's how we handle it. Amen. The right, right. That makes right. the difference. It's who we yes. have in our life that guides us when we're in, tr in trouble that makes the difference. That's why he says we trouble on every side but not distress. He, he's saying this stuff going to come in our life. This stuff going to happen to you. Yeah. These things is going to come against you. These things are gonna, but when they do come, you, you believers are like, okay. Yeah, yeah. amen. That's amen. Happening. I know that's happening. I know that that's coming against me. I, I get it. So I'm not freaking out over it. I'm not losing my mind over it. I, I understand that, you know, the enemy is putting stuff yeah, in my amen, way. He's trying amen. to get me to take my eyes off of Jesus Christ and following God. He, he don't want me to. And, and that's why he said, but perplexed. Mm -hmm. but if, you, if you understand what, what Paul is saying when he says we are perplexed, but not in, not not in despair. Yeah. What he's saying is there are things that are happening in my life that I don't always understand. Right. So I, I can't figure it out. I don't understand why is this going on or why is that happening. I, I don't understand why why when you preaching the word of God that 
all the church doesn't seem to grow like yeah, it ought yeah. to. That, that when when the, you understand what God is saying in the Word of God, yeah. that people are, who who should know better, not doing better. People who Come are on, say it. Yeah, it. yeah. Uh, and you can you can be perplexed. You you know that the Word is going forth, but you yeah. don't understand why people are not grasping it. Right. I'm perplexed. I don't get it. I don't understand it. But in the midst of that. Yeah. Say it, man. In the midst. It is what it is. Yes, yes. it is. Yes. Yes. Do what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Amen. Right. I like that. Do what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Amen. I, I, I can't figure out how why it is. I can't figure yeah. out why Uncle John died when he looked like he was in good health. I, I can't figure out why so-and-so got sick or why my healing hasn't come when I wanted it to come. I, I'm sort of perplexed. I've done everything that I should do. Or think about people who work out every day. I just read about a man who worked out every day. Uh, and was in great health and everything and, and wound up having a heart attack. Come on, Doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't matter. Because, I mean, I'm perplexed. I don't understand. If you're supposed to be doing all this, that's messing up folk who, like me, yeah. need to make sure that we lose the weight anyway. Oh, come on, come on. Be out there trying to get better. Now, I was like, wait a minute. What do I want to get better for? If I get better, I might wind up with a heart attack. I'm doing <laughs> fine, and I ain't even in good shape. Come on, like, come on. I'm perplexed. I don't understand. <laughs> I can't even get it. I'm not am I supposed to know? Am I supposed to be working out, doing all this great stuff, or am I supposed to just be chilling? Like, because I'm doing all right right come now. Come on, come so on. where am I? Y'all can't hear me. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I am not going to understand. I'm just, but, but it's there. I don't get it. I can't figure everything out. But I do know I need to walk with Christ. Come on, I amen. Do know I, do know. I need to stay on the course that God oh, has me on. I do oh, understand yeah. that. I may not be able to figure out all the other things, but I know the word of God said if I stick with him, then yeah. I'm going to be all right. Amen, amen, amen. It may not look amen. like right here, but if I go on the glory, I know where I'm going. Say it, Amen, right. amen. We're we trying to figure out some other stuff. Looking down here at the temporal stuff, he's saying we may not understand everything. Or, or look, I, I mean, I don't know if you ever felt persecuted, but he said persecuted but not forsaken. Yeah, and yeah. Jesus, when he was on the cross, yeah. said, Eloi, Eloi, Allah, Sebastiani, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? God had not forsaken Jesus, but he felt like he had because now Jesus is taking the sin of you and I. Yes, the thank, you, Lord. Doing, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, us. Lord. Thank he you, Jesus. He who knew no sin bore our sins thank to you, the Lord. cross. And he took it on because he believed that it was important to give us a chance. Amen. To be on Amen. Amen. So he, he, he was persecuted. And sometimes we, we feel persecuted when you know you did wrong. And you done got busted, and now people are talking about what you did. Come on, that ain't that ain't being persecuted. Come you on, did say it, Pastor. Persecution comes when you didn't do it, but you're getting persecuted. Yeah, for amen, it. amen. Yeah. When you was walking right, but you somehow get blamed for stuff that you, yeah. that wasn't on you, but you get blamed for it anyway. Yeah. And so he says, even though the person might be persecuted, even though you may feel persecuted because you didn't commit the sin, that that God still has not forsaken you. Yeah. He has not walked away from you. And sometimes we feel cast down as I'm just walking through this passage. Yeah, yeah. Here. He said sometimes uh, that cast down but not destroyed. Yeah, amen. Yep. The cast down means you know I'm down on my back. I can't I can't figure it out. I don't know what I can do now. I don't I can't figure it out. I'm down on my back. But you know what? He's saying a believer in Jesus Christ, it's even though we destroyed. cast down, we yes, realize Lord. we ain't Thank destroyed. You, Jesus. Thank you, can, you, Lord. You can hurt my body. You can harm my body. But what you cannot do. Is destroy my soul. Amen. So, oh, amen. I can amen. Be cast down amen. In my physical. I can be cast down in my physical, but my spirit man. Yes, yes. Is still good. It's still good. So I don't have to be flat on my amen. back. Amen. But I can say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, so, Lord. You thank you, Jesus. He said, always bearing about in the body the dying yes. of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Yes, Lord. Thank That's you, what Jesus. That's talking about. Why I've been sharing with you that you have to have a relationship. Yes, with yes. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. If you're going to be able to over, overcome and, and be the winner that God wants you to be, yes. you have to have that special relationship oh, yeah. with Christ. Yes, because that way, God is always in you through Jesus yes. Christ. Amen, showing amen. Showing you the way, showing yes. you how to do it. Amen. And that's what the Word of God says to us today. 
that we must follow what God has called us to be yeah. if we want to be a winner. Amen. And I don't know whether you, you know, ever played any sports, maybe not, mm -hmm. but I think that it's important to be a winner. Yeah. I, I think it's Amen. important to Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and, and, and whether you have played sports or you yes. haven't played sports, the fact is that as a believer in Jesus Christ, you are to be a winner. Yeah. You have automatically now entered into the place of being a winner. Yeah. What is it? You hit the lottery. Yeah. You know, we just had a $1.6 billion yes. lottery. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I didn't hit it. <laughs> and I didn't either. <laughs> I got that impression. <laughs> I didn't hit it. But what I have hit, and the lottery that I have hit, is something that yeah, money can never yeah. buy. Amen. 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 Money can never buy my soul. No, oh, money can never yeah. take me. Say it. So yeah. I want. I, I feel like I'm a rich man, even if I'm making what I'm making. Amen. Yeah. Even if I'm making what I'm making, I'm yes. still rich in Christ. Amen. Praise no the if Lord. If I just stop right here and look at what I got, I, I can say I'm doing pretty decent. Yes. But what I do know is the Bible says that Jesus went to prepare a place. Yes. For you. yes. Thank you, Lord. Said, Hallelujah. A place for you. Hallelujah, I'm Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Myself. Yes. And there's a mansion. Yes. Over yes. In glory. yes. 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 And it's mine. Oh, yes. Yes. See, I got a new name. Yes. Over in glory. Amen. And it's mine. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 I got a new walk. Yes. Over in glory. Yes. 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 Amen. All mine. All mine. I got a new talk. Oh, over in glory. Yes. 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 It's mine. Yes. All mine. Yes. What I know is, if I stop right here, I ain't, I can't see it. Yeah. But if I keep going, Amen. Yes. Amen. God has promised yes. that it's for me. Amen. So I'm just telling you. Know that God has already prepared a place for you as a believer yes, in Jesus okay. Christ. You are a winner whether you feel like it yes, or not. Thank you, you Lord. Need to walk like a winner. Yes, you need to yes. act like a winner. Yes, you need to know that God has prepared a place for you. And that's where we go. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. The joys of church are open. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.